uh, for the Corki and Zeri package over here. And on the side of G2, a lot of range, a lot of scaling, side laning potential as well. What do you want to look in, at Extremely in the Extremely reliant on getting early game these because right now... Summer spell, 200 health, healing up as much as he can. And I gotta say, this is some professional level hating here coming in from BDS on the top side of the map. Broken Blade finally now gets to lane. Uh, the downside is G2's bot lane got to take so many plates. We'll see if the 2v2 feels a little bit better for the side of BDS now that Alistair gets to start the lane effectively at yeah. level 3. That's a good point as well. Uh, and Broken Blade. Uh -oh. This is the uh -oh. matchup. Uh -oh. Who wins the all and It's the Malphite! Quick thumbs up! Yeah, and that is the matchup. Uh, Broken Blade took a bad trade when he queued into the wave. Oh, Alistair. Oh, I'm trying to pull back. Has the double cast, but isn't going to use it. And this does open up Yike to secure the Grubs. Grubs obviously can help significantly uh, enhance the power of a lot of these individual laners. Yes, Broken Blade's a little bit behind, but he's still able to get lane fry out here. Takes a decent amount of damage, though. And Adam's going to just uh, try one more time to kill him. Yeah, he will. Just walking up, whacking him, walk up, down smash. Very casual. Yeah, I mean... Very it, simple. The, the most frustrating thing is... All the movement speed things that you get in Jace's Dragon is, of course, still on the table. Neither team prioritizing it for the time being, as we see Shale making his way towards topside. Oh no, Broken Blade. They don't even need to send this many people. This is just bullying. Broken Blade tries to use the To The Skies to make it out. This is a stomp in the top side of the map. Yike now with the cross map play. G2 trying to make a counter play. LeBrov there to body block. Ice, nice backstep. Heal coming out. Hansama continuing to harass LeBrov. LeBrov no level six. Nice. Ooh, back. Kind of just a whiff for Mickey, to be honest yep. there. And LeBrov will eventually fall as Yike tanks the tower, using the minion to reset tower aggro. Well done, G2. Gonna break first tower here. So while Adam is insanely far ahead, and Broken Blade has been put very far down, G2 making up for it on the bottom side of the map. Yeah, I mean, it oh no, Broken Blade. He is just being bullied How right many now. We're gonna teach you this lesson, old man. <laughs> Adam getting some revenge after what happened in game one. And he's just being so much away from so much farm. 34 CS at eight and a half minutes. It's like the counter chovy, you know? Yeah. Admittedly, not through his own volition. There's no, I don't, <laughs> very not, little that Broken yeah, Blade can is, do about it, right? <laughs> the counter pick this is a pretty ruthless counter pick, and obviously lane swap, and also like. You could not imagine a worse situation for Jace. Jace players out there would struggle yeah. to find a worse... Like, coming into the game with wrong runes and, and masteries we, we is the only way this could be worse. An old-school Jace player in Odo on the desk being like, yeah, this matchup really sucks. <laughs> Thank you for putting on the pro player <laughs> yeah, accent, yeah, just yeah, so yeah. I knew. I felt like... <laughs> arrow. Oh, arrow hits. Shao's here, though. Nice dash out on the Valk. Shao is here to cover. Mickey, though. Oh, what? That was oh. good from the setup, the alley-oop. Alti comes in. I was caught off guard. I had my eyes on Mickey. Hawk shot you because of the sapling vision. So hard for BDS to really hold control of any specific area. I mean, I'm surprised that they've just completely conceded control around the Herald. They've prioritized securing this bot out of tower, and they won't get the first dragon of the game. Maybe they don't feel confident trying to take a fight. Either way, this should be a trade of objectives. The Malphite's still hovering top lane, though. Caps needs to be careful. I mean, it's going to be difficult for BDS if they lose mid lane tier one, which is kind of what you would expect at this point. The Herald does come through as Adam walks into Tristana. He's going to kill him. Here, ult. He's waiting for the ulti to come out. Caps manages to get hunt him back into the tower, but Caps still has to run. The Malphite is still probably going to kill him. The arrow trying Ooh. to save the day, but LeBron is here to the flash from Caps. There is no way he should get out of that, but he does. BDS, what was supposed to be a sure thing, falls apart in front of them. I mean, so that's a 6.5 out of 10. Hey, Caps, that's a 6.5. I mean, he did need <laughs> support from his team. But I mean, the, the whole setup and the way he executed that, he played it so perfectly. The fact that he knocked the Malphite underneath the tower, and then he ran back into lane. He, the river, sorry. He didn't actually try and get underneath the tower, which was kind of what my instinct would be, but it's because he was trying to bait him into the Ash Arrow. All right. We will need to ask him afterwards because I think you might be coping. I'm like, do you a think I'm bit. giving him the benefit I, I, of the doubt? I here? think he meant to ult the Malphite away from him to get back under his tower and not walk into the Alistair. Maybe. Or you are right that he's the biggest five head genius of all time. Of course, while we're talking about it, Mickey has gone down. Excellent pick coming to Prusheo. LeBron, nice knockback, immediate stun follow up. Nowhere for a yike to go. BDS, oh. excellent response. Ice, low health bar, but he will be able to reset. Yeah, I mean. 
It's important yes. series ends. <laughs> but he can lie to us. <laughs> Which is what I would do. I would definitely say I planned that. Now, following that play, uh, of course, BDS did get some kills of their own. They got two in the mid lane. Shea was able to get a pick onto, I believe it was Mickey. And then Yike also lost his life. So the gold is relatively even. A lot of that is because it's sitting on the Malphite. Ash, arrow, top Hero. lane. Adam, locked up. They're trying to force the ultimate out. Even if he ults into them, he's probably going to go down. Unstoppable into the wall. Oh, no. No safety for Adam. He oversteps his bounds. And Hansom is having a massive game right now. And take control of the mid lane here. Don't need to be too scared of Malphite. Ulti's still on cooldown. Well, there's not really a huge amount for them to play for. Oh, they spotted him on Vision. He's trying to go casual as they're walking up. lebron has got nowhere to go. He thought he was safe. Hansama hitting him with some Oscar-worthy acting as he starts to walk to the side as if he cannot see him. All of G2 collapsed. Yeah, it was almost like they were leaning towards Nuke and giving the impression that he was the target. But, uh, yeah. Fortunately for Le Le LeBrov, he does not realize that he was standing on top of a ward. So, this oh, this is so frustrating. You die immediately. He definitely would have. Adam would have been like, yeah. Oh, hey, sweet. You want to just kind of <laughs> stun yourself and yeah. land at a really <laughs> telegraphed <laughs> position? LeBrov. Luckily, he's able to sidestep there. Celestial opposition giving a bit of damage resistance. G2 going to force out the Unbreakable. Nice root, though, from Shao. Instant turn. Ice off to the side. Nobody able to hit. Ike stepping up. Yike, excuse me. G2. Now going to go in. Adam follows, though. That's the shutdown. Big ulti from Adam. Mickey going to be able to find the double root, but now has to retreat. Broken Blade waiting over the wall, and BDS taking the fight. G2 over Eager. Thought they just had to worry about the Malphite, but that Zyra damage, a bit too much to handle. I mean, I think a lot of the credit needs to go to Lebrov. Yeah, it does look like that he's going to get caught out initially. However, the re-engage comes through. His ultimate buys a lot of time, and then the rest of BDS are able to collapse and convert that into a huge play. Because Han, Summer, and Mickey took a step too far. It's Caps now. Caps it's on the nuke. Trying to find the solo. Goes back to the wall, but here's Lebrov waiting, forcing Caps to flash backwards. Caps to the side, still focused on nuke, still looking to get that damage down. It's going to get the rocket set on the rocket jump. Gets another three seconds against the kill. Oh, no. And now Lebrov is not sure if he wins this. Waiting for the vision to fade away. Now walking up, ushering him into the tower. Caps still wants to go. A little bit of extra healing. Punt back All into the tower. tower. Lebrov. Woo. Oh, Lebrov. Okay, he's able to make it work. <laughs> But wow, Caps, able to find a kill in that exchange. It's Tristana on a side lane. It's a scary thing to deal with. And just like that, so many of the BDS members are drawn towards the bot side of the map. Reset's now coming through. Opens up this mid lane tower for and G2 they, to siege onto. They cannot defend. They cannot walk up. Six Grub buff, the Ash, the Seraphine, the Maokai threat. Get his flash again. Making it that much easier for BDS to start here. Seraphine ult is always going to be scary yes. to the potential for that multi-man lockup. And then Maokai ultimate around Baron, also very scary. Rob, ulting, ready to go over the wall. Adam gonna find one, trying to lock down Mickey before he can ult. Well executed by BDS, clean pick, but it's Broken Blade in the side lane, looking to get a tower back. TP response now from BDS, looks like they're not going to start the Baron. Settling just for the pick. X flash forward from LeBron, bit of extra movement speed, headbutt. Knocked back. Now the redemption coming in, good damage on a hot time. Ice off to the side, immediate lightning crash. Capso now wants to turn this one back. Caps trying to refire an Adam, looking for the reset on this Ash charge. Means he can jump again. Ice has to be careful, caught between multiple carries. Broken Blade put behind, but he still does a hell of a lot of damage. Caps finding one, and there you go, baby. Like we're watching Mario Maker, Goomba stomping his way through that fight. TP flank from Caps, looking to collapse onto Nuke. All right, Nuke. Can't do much here, tries to finish the tower, doing so much damage Ooh. on the Caps, wants to get the reset, Caps with a knockback, flash forward from Nuke, gets the shutdown, at the very least, but Broken Blade is there to make it a one for one. Some revenge for Nuke, but it's an ace for G2. Adam, you've got to remember that he used his ultimate earlier to catch out Mickey, <laughs> and, and every time they do, sure, you kind of deal with him in the laning phase, you don't really allow him to snowball, but the moment he unlocks himself in a side lane, he keeps finding these type of plays, and now he has uh, his Infinity Edge completed. Yeah, and with any champion who has a movement ability that resets, you have to be really decisive in your fights. If you make mistakes, the Arrow champion just... sets up the CC I and mean, now they, BDS, they, this. they have to concede it. They don't have the smite, they just be throwing their lives away. Nuke on the cross map, trying to push in that bot wave. They've pushed in mid as well. They can try and steal away some jungle camps. Maybe there's a world where they can secure this bot tier two. But, uh, G2 with a massive pickup there. Hans here. Blue Trinket down to see if BD4 Adam. Caps taking up home in the mid lane, knocking down a tier two. Level 17 Tristana, the range. Um, he's just so powerful. 
the mites as well. The six growth buff just continues to make it so much easier for GQ Siege. Now Broken Blade's range is nice to have. Again, you can see Nuke slowly getting chipped away. So when you land the slow from the ash, you also get the root, and you can even yep. get the stun on top of that. It makes that potential pick very lethal as the ash connects. So you see on a Lebra forcing him to use the unbreakable. But obviously like to fight in this window, but G2 backing up. Don't want to give him the angle. And look at all this poke that comes out from G2's composition. The Ash, the Jace, the Seraphine. I mean, very disciplined Siege. BDS are consistently trying to fish for this flank. Adam, only a few seconds left on that ultimate cooldown. Not level 16, but does have some ability haste. LeBroff trying to find a flank. Han Summer sidesteps the roots. Over the shielding from Seraphine. Oh, Will guys. escort Han Summer to safety. Thumbs up from him. Dragon and pushing in that wave. BDS turning their attention to that side of the map, knowing they can't really contest the Dragon. It's not one that they need to fight for right now. No soul secured just yet. But it is a window where they can maybe secure another tower, get a little bit more gold, get another item. Definitely be, at the very least, something. The gold deficit isn't too extreme. But another objective will be secured. Problem is, armor penetration finally starting to come through. Malphite's still fantastic, right? Even when those oh, items caps. come in. Caps now looking for that isolated battle versus new getting the flash. Now Caps, already doing forward, has no flash of his own. What is the angle oh, going to be here? It. Immediate cancel onto Adam, forcing him to ult defensively, and now all of G2 on the chase, ready to punish. Flashes into the grasping roots. And that's a big blunder on the side of BDS. The TP interrupted, and like, that right, that Caps just being annoying on a side lane ends up setting up the play. He's now drawing two members to the bot side of the map. And trying to outplay, and he gets a he's kill. gonna get it! Caps! Is, I mean, what more is there to say? It's a Caps <laughs> diff. This is a guy who has a winning ratio against every player in the LEC. Individually, across every G2 lineup, really, outside of one year. Now the Siege coming in on the top side. BDS try to mount a last defense here, but when Adam respawns, he will not have ulti. Sheo's ult, the last real reliable tool. It's all of G2 ready to just push in here. They've knocked down bot, knocked down top, mid the last one standing. Adam posturing like he has ultimate, still a few more seconds. Now they have to deal with the poke once more. I mean, it all comes down to Ice. Even if Adam gets in, it's going to be so hard. And already the ulti coming out from the Malphite to be a ball from the Seraphine. Shao trying to disengage. Ice the one who matters, but G2 zoning him away beautifully as Caps hits the tower. They will not get the angle for the fight. Finally, Adam able to go in. Ice trying to fall, but Nuke is here. It might be enough. Caps focusing on the tower, focusing on the objective. All of BDS ready now to push back. 5v3 in their favor. This is their fight. Mickey locked up, will not be able to make it over the wall. Double kill for Nuke. BDS hold the line. Their base lies in tatters, but BDS is still alive. Adam connects the ultimate onto Han Sama. He doesn't flash away from it. And that initial pick was all BDS needed to begin the chase down. They're now looking to try and collapse on the caps. I don't think they're gonna get it, but they should be able to secure the Baron. Yike commits the smite. And this could be a huge turning point for BDS. There's a ward in the base, however. TP there for Broken Blade when he respawns. They might be looking for the Nexus angle. But Caps and Yike are threatening. 3k, Baron getting lower. Ice ready to go and flash it from Yike, hoping to steal oh! it. And he takes it! He gets it! And there's a ward in the base as well. Broken Blade in three seconds. Will he just TP and try to finish? He TPs to mid. Patience could be bigger here. Arrow locks up Shao. Long range, about a three seconds. You see, they're not going to be able to follow up. Shao's got nowhere left to go. Flashing out, decent damage. No autos, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cavs still has enough damage. Doesn't even need to hit him. G2. They know they have the numbers advantage. The Baron buff on Caps, and Yike gets a steal. Two versus four. He finds a way in. There's just what can you even do at that point? G2. 7k gold lead, three drakes, they don't even need to play for a soul. BDS trying to hold the line, but again, if any one of these three carries gets close to the Nexus, they'll shred through it. Adam with all careful of Adam, exactly. Level 16. Still, they want to go for caps. The flashback, LeBron getting lower. Nuke completely out-damaged, outscaled. He keeps doing it. Hansama off to the side, alt in, but he buffers it. Now, finally, Ice able to fire back. Ulti, Lightning Crash, wants to walk forward into Caps, but has to be careful, does do a good amount of damage, but just outplayed. Caps is too damn strong. The GOAT of Europe reminds us how 
how he got that. 